What would you have done on your soldier's homecoming? What would you have done witnessing the things you have growing up? What would you have done when you see your culture eroded, your identity disappearing, you see Sharia patrols, neighbours are being forced from their homes? What would you have done? As a young lad from Luton, I've made the decision. I've done what I did. I've done it, and I want you to know that it was born out of passion for what was right. Of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, who Stephen Lennon, also known as Tommy Robinson, former head of the English Defence League. Of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson. Tommy, Tommy Robinson, the former leader of the English Defence League. Tommy Robinson, who heads up the militant English Defence League. Right wing leader called Tommy Robinson, he's quite controversial in this country. He was arrested, re arrested recently for planning to attend a Draw Mohammed cartoon contest. Now, to understand the backstory, he was arrested separately for mortgage fraud last year, but he was already released by police in June. They re arrested him literally days before this event was due to take place last week because of the fear that he might offend Muslims. My mum was up, wasn't well. She were was you hospital. aware that you were still under a banning order, Tommy? No, 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 I'm not under a banning order. Right. I, I've not been under a banning order. So I was under a banning order 2011 to 2014 for swearing outside Luton's football stadium. Yeah. Part of that banning order, it gave me a zone I wasn't allowed to enter on Saturdays in, in Luton, which included the whole Muslim community. Yeah. So it's a control order, but they use the football legislation exactly the same as they're doing now. They're using the football legislation in order to put control on where a cannon can't go and what a okay. cannon can't do. All right, so, so go on. So they I turn up, but you'd already gone to France, yeah? They had turned up, I'd already gone to France. So I travelled back from France. Um, I was home, um, and the first time they come, they come at four o'clock. So my wife gets in from school with the three kids. And the police are all there. Yeah. Just walk into it. Wait, 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 how can you not enforce the how can you not enforce the law when someone's just assaulted someone? Can you listen to the senior officer here? About I'm just going to do more direction you're trying to We're doing a charity walk. We're just doing a walk. You're not going to arrest him for assaulting. We're doing a charity walk. How are you not? Officers are waiting for I can see. So why are you why have, why have you got your hands on us? Because I am going to be arresting you. You're going to arrest me. You're going to arrest us for doing a charity walk. I'm going to explain why. So now we're getting arrested. Listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. No. We'll go this way then. You are both under arrest. Oh my God. Police. Right, so you're under arrest. No, you didn't know. We said, we said, whatever way you tell us if we're going to get arrested. You are, we asked you to tell us 100% yes or no. We, we are trying what to do a charity no, What's the crime with for a dying child? How have, How, have How have we obstructed you? How have we obstructed you? We have obstructed you. We have been assaulted. We have been assaulted. I'm sorry, but I can't explain. I'm sorry, but I can't explain. I'm sorry, but I can't explain. I can't believe we've been is this freedom in the year 2013 in London? Mike, Mike, look, that's, we've been arrested right. on our forces day doing a charity walk. Yes, yes, this is year 2013 yes, London, okay. on, mate. because we want to walk. Unbelievable. No, no, officer, officer. When you take, when I take that camera off my phone, stop being interviewed. No, no, when I'm this isn't crime watch. I'm with my children. Yeah. You're telling me I have to leave. Yeah. Huh? Why? Why? Because yeah. there's likely to be disorder. Get off the hand. Don't assault me. Tell me why. No, you're, you're, what, tell me why I have to leave. Stop shouting at me. So tell me why I've got to leave. It'll be explained to you when you get yourself. How, how, how are you drawing a jurisdiction to where I do and don't go with my kids? Tell me. Tell me the reason. Shush! I'm trying to talk on my radio. Oh, hold on, you've told me I've got to leave. What sort of law tells a man with his children he has to leave a city? What is that about? Right. What is that about? What is that about? Freedom, democracy, Britain. What's that about? Quite I don't, why should we, yeah, Do you want me to explain yeah, it? Tell me why then. Tell me why the I have to leave. is, because of the lessons we've learned in the past, we know that if certain groups stay within the city, I'm with my children. Okay. I'm with my children. Unfortunately, I'm with my family. Make, makes no difference. Same rule for everyone. It's not the same rule for everyone. Don't shout. There's loads of people down. from Luton. If in you 
you want me to explain it to yeah. you, then I will, but you're yeah. going to keep it calm. Yeah, go on then. Situation is, because of the fact that there's going to be a likelihood of violence if a group stays here from, one, from this match... You, you really think me and my three children are going to commit violence? That's Tell me the truth. What do you I'm think saying that? is... Do you think that? Listen. You, with your kids, if someone come up to you on a day out with your children and told you... If someone come up to you with your children... Get arrested here in front of my kids. Of course you would, you're horrible. Why are you following us? Go away! Kids, it's alright. It's alright. It's no alright. Get right down here, someone. What? Bells, it's alright. Bells! Macy, come in. Macy, relax. You're scum. You're scum. You know that. Look at them. Look how scared they are. You're horrible. Go away. Stop following us. Special police presence was needed at a protest in Kensington. A group calling itself Muslims Against Crusades was faced with a counter-demonstration by the English Defence League. A police officer needed hospital treatment for a head injury, though it wasn't serious. The police later gave the Muslim protesters an escort through a local tube station to make sure the two sides were kept apart. In 2012, I spent 20 weeks. I flew to America on September 11th on someone else's passport. Pretty stupid thing to do, yeah? I got 10 months in jail for it, which I thought was quite harsh, but I got 10 months in jail. I spent 20 weeks in solitary confinement. Solitary confinement, 23 and a half hours a day. I was locked up. For a half hour a day, I got let out to walk around a cage on my own, put back in, meals brought to your room. They're not allowed to do that, actually. You're only allowed to do that for 30 days because of your mental health. It's not good for your mental health. To get around that, they moved me from Wandsworth block, Bedford block, Woodhill block, Wandsworth block, Wayland block. I was not allowed out of my cell because I'd be killed. My family noticed the difference in me as a person when they come to visit. Because of this, you see, fear is paralysing. And it's fear that paralysed Rotherham's police force. It's fear that paralysed our politicians. It's fear that has paralysed the British public to put up and tolerate with many of the things that are happening in this country. I got, my family contacted human rights lawyers. They explained, listen, our son has spent 12 weeks in solitary confinement, listed all the things, all the human rights lawyers like this, you've def definitely got a case, this is out of order, we'll get a judicial review. Yeah, he's the leader of the English Defence League. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean, we can't, we, can't, we can't represent him. That's how toxic it, it's become. That's how powerful political correctness is. My family then looked for who represented Jamie Bolger's killer. Child killer. Cut off the penis of a child and fed it to him. Disgusting, sick. They contacted him. Went through the same scenario, explained the situation. Got to the fact that I was a leader of the English Defence League. Whoa, can't touch him. He represented a child killer. He would not represent me. That is the, how toxic it had become to speak out and be critical of what I've seen. Now, I feel injustice in every trial I've had. I've been stitched up left, right and centre. I've been prosecuted for things I haven't done. I've been imprisoned. They've put my life in danger. This was another attempt again by the state to put my life in danger and put me back in prison to have me killed. It's a maximum security prison. I went there for a mortgage fraud charge, which is not right. It doesn't work. It's, it, it's unheard of. When I went there, there were six Muslims in there who were in there. And bearing in mind, I spent time in this very same prison in 2012. Now, when I was in the prison in 2012, everything had to be locked for me to walk anywhere. You know? When I go in this time, I'm put straight out. And, and, and I'm sitting there thinking, I know what's going to happen here. What, what's going on? What's changed from 2012 to 2014? The threat against me has got, uh, has got worse. We know that. that. There's more people that want to kill me now. And the, and the wing they actually were putting me on, which they were trying to put me on, was held six Muslims that were doing 30 years in prison because they were caught with guns, bombs and IEDs on their way to kill me. So that they were in there for trying to kill me and the, the prison officer actually opened up my door and said, do not leave this cell, your life depends on it. And I knew then I was in big trouble. And I knew then 
Um, people were pulling strings in order to let them have an opportunity to get me. Or forgiven. Don't point your camera at me, I'll break your camera. I'm telling you. Go on, then you got something to say. What have you got something to say? What have you got something to say? Huh? What have you got something to say? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Say something then. Pussy. Go on. Yeah, I know, man. I'm not going to stop that, bro. Oh, look what I did. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Remember my face, yeah? My old son. Welcome to Luton. Did you get that on camera? I'm just going about my business working, bro. I'm just going about my business working. Racist. What's that? Are you racist? You what's that? Are you racist? Hold on. What are you filming me for? Go film what I want, bro. Are you racist? I film what I want, bro. Are you racist? I don't like his name, no. Why? That's my face. Alright, just trying to fucking go. I'm just trying to get bits for work, man. That didn't go. I don't know what Periscope saw because my phone was on the floor, wasn't it? But yeah, I've got a little one, a couple of hits, but I gave a couple of hits. What a joke, eh? Have a shave, yeah, we'll have a shave and work, mate. See you later. They were shouting me out the window. We had a, a verbal exchange. I didn't think anything more of it. The police are now looking down the line that it was something to do with that car. That was a white Astra. But then as I was approaching, coming out, coming out the back end of Luton, I had a car flashing me over and my battery had just died. My battery had died about half hour before. And the last thing my, my wife had messaged me was, where the hell are you? Yeah, because I wasn't home yet. And then I was on my way home. I had a black, black Sephira flashing me, which is exactly the same as what my wife drives. I looked in the wing mirror. It had a girl driving it. I pulled in. I got out. And as soon as I got out, literally... Uh, an Asian lad dived out of, the, out of the passenger seat and I could tell by his mannerisms exactly what was going to happen. I could tell exactly what was going to happen and it did happen. Um, me and him started fighting and another couple got out of the car and um, I got beaten up. I was knocked unconscious um, and next thing I know some fellow was waking me up who pulled over when he saw what was going on. Mm. And um, that was pretty much it. Did they say anything and while they were yeah, doing this? It's about two weeks ago. Right. Did, did, they did. There's been a lot of rumours here. Uh, there's been a lot of rumours floating around. The reason why a lot of rumours have floated around is because when, when I was in hospital, I turned my phone on, I literally got two or three text messages before the battery died again, and then I was in there for eight or nine hours. So the rumour mill went wild as to what was said and what happened, what my injuries were, where I was. But um, the first thing the fella said was, this, this is for our mosque. Now, what have I got to talk to you about? Eh? What have I got to talk to you about? Eh? What have I got to talk to you about? What have I got to say about Islam and that, innit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So why don't you say it now? What do you want me to say? It's yeah. ideology, it's got no place. Yeah. yeah, it's got no place, bruv. And what are you, so what are you like, bruv? You have about 100 of you here in a minute. <laughs> you f***ing little chief. You f***ing chief. F***ing prick. You see? That is, that is his I don't know why I called him a chief, but... He was not arrested for that. That went out on Channel 4, national TV. You tell me why he wasn't arrested. I'd have been arrested. We all know I'd have been arrested. I'll get arrested if I drop a bit of litter as we walk out that door. He was not arrested for attacking me. Have you ever, do you think, incited any of this? Well, that's what, that's what they're saying. Well, you deserve it, you deserve it. What, because I, I exercise my freedom of speech and I'm critical of an ideology? America's going to see firsthand what's going to happen. How, how, how their freedoms will be under attack. This is what's happening. This is coming your way.